In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create gradient color options with hexagon shape and this is how the slide looks. As you can see here, I've created this five hexagon shapes and I click it will come with the gradient color with the icon, the option number and then the, uh, the bottom in the detail text. So when I click, it will show me the option two with the different color combination option three option four and option five similarly i've created one more slide where i have used only uh, four options so you can see here this is quite bigger as well so when i click it will show the option one option two option three and option four please share like and subscribe my channel and the only channel on youtube for powerpoint where you can get 1000 plus free templates absolutely free and i have provided the link on the video description section of each video and you can support my channel through paypal or patreon so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and change the slide background to any light gray color background then go to view enable the guides then i'm going to create the hexagon shape so i'm going to show you there are two different ways we can create the hexagon shape first the already built-in uh, shape so you can just go to insert shapes and from the basic shapes you can see here this is the hexagon just draw the hexagon depending on the requirement and you can rotate it and i would like to bring this pointed corner at the top okay so alt and the right arrow key just click it and it will rotate or you can use this particular arrow key as well all right so this is one way of creating the the hexagon shape using the insert shapes all right the next thing is which you can create your own one where I would like to give a corner which is a kind of a curved one okay so for that what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert shapes and I'm going to uh, use the rounded corner rectangle draw a rectangle just click it shape outline make it no outline and then you can see the small orange point just drag this inside so it looks kind of a curve uh, or the oval shape here here i'm going to make the height as 2.10 or 11 and this is 0.67 or 65 so this is the shape you get it okay so let me just keep this aside now what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, tilt it using this arrow or i can use the alt and the left arrow key so i'm going to click four times okay so hold the alt key and then one two three four times okay I'm just going to place it here press ctrl d to duplicate now i'm going to bring it to the original position again for that alt one two three four all right and make sure that it is properly aligned so let me just give some different color and make sure that this is somewhat transparent so we know that this is properly aligned sorry so i'm just aligning it properly so here you can see here i'm just going to put it like this so you can see here this corner it should align like that okay and then what i'm going to do is i'm going to add by pressing ctrl d to duplicate and this also i'm going to alt and the four time one two three four time okay and again properly align it press ctrl d again one two three four you can see here again align it properly again ctrl d make it straight all right so again align it properly here and then the last one sorry ctrl d one two three four and then properly aligned it so you can see here this shape looks kind of a hexagon shape now i'm going to select all the shapes i'm going to remove the transparency and then I'm going to fill this area also with some shape. Maybe I can use the oval shape. Okay, hold the shift key. Make sure that it is fully covered. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the shapes here. Go to the shape format, merge shape and make it union. So you can see the difference. This is this versus this one. This looks more uh, neat and clean. Okay, so I'm just going to keep it and I don't want this one. I'm going to delete this. All right, so shape outline make it no outline then what i'm going to do is i'm going to move this here and i'm going to fill this gradient color all right so first thing uh, go to the shape options and select under fill select the gradient fill so here by default i have used before that's the reason it is coming all right so first thing i'm going to select this one using the eyedropper i'm going to select this shape which is kind of a light blue 
and here the other stop I'm going to choose which is the darker blue here all right so you can see and then the direction I would like to see the the darker at the bottom all right so it looks something like this all right now the next thing which I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate this by pressing the control shift key just drag this down a little bit all right now for this I'm going to give this color combination all right so first one I'm going to select this eyedropper select this color and then use this one I'm going to select light color so now this direction I'm going to change it which is like this one time one side lighter and the side darker and then send this to back so it looks something like this so the next step is I'm going to insert some icon uh, title and some detailed text so first go to insert click on the icons and I'm going to choose the icon which is uh, any relevant icon maybe I'm going to choose this one click insert and move this here at exactly in the center shape fill I'm going to fill this with white and reduce the size by 0.7 and again make sure that it is center align all right and then go to insert text box and I'm going to type here option one this font also white in color center align make it bold I'm going to use the font open sans extra bold all right so you can see here I'm going to put it like this and then below you can add some detailed text here e equals lorem within bracket one I don't need this much long text so I'm going to cut some of it center align reduce the font size to maybe 14 or 12 and put it here so now my first option is ready so I'm just going to move a little bit here and then depending on my requirement four or five I can just drag by holding the control shift key and drop it next to it all right again hold the control shift key drag it and drop it so I'm going to make it only four because the size I have used is bigger so let me just align it properly so now this is my option two this is my option three and this is my option four all right the next is changing the color so I'm going to select this one the color I'm going to choose again with the help of these you can see here this color and the other color I'm going to choose which is this one all right then I'm going to select this use the eyedropper I'm going to select this color light blue and a dark blue color combination and then the purple here all right so this is a dark purple and this is this one okay so now again you can see here this gradient stop if you want more darker you can just move this aside okay you can see here so you can just play with this depending on the requirement now it's time to change the icons so the icons are same I'm going to choose the icons go to the graphic format change graphics from icon and then choose the relevant icon according to the requirement so I'm just going to choose so maybe this one click insert then comes the third one I'm going to repeat the same steps and here I'm going to choose uh, maybe uh, an aeroplane and then here I'm going to choose uh, maybe a uh, alarm clock all right so you can see here we have completed uh, the all the steps now it's to the time to do the animation so go to the animations enable the animation pane so now before doing the animation what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this shape and this shape press ctrl G to group it okay this as well as this press ctrl G you can select it by holding the shift key this one and this one ctrl G and this and this also ctrl G all right so once this is done what you can do is you can do the animation so first of all I'm going to select this one add animations go to the more entrance effects you have got wide variety of animations maybe I'm going to select peek in or you, you can see here rise up float up so many different different options are there you can see here so I'm going to select the float down this is not good so let me float down looks good click ok and double click this one make it timing is very fast otherwise it's very slow okay you can make it even 0 0.3 as well 
and click OK. So it comes very fast. And at the same time, when it is coming, this particular option also should come for that. Add animation, more entrance effect. I'm going to select stretch. Click OK. Stretch should come from the top and this should happen with previous. All right. So if I play, it comes something like this. And then this also should come the same animation. So I can just use more entrance effects stretch click ok and again it should come from the top and this should happen after previous so if i play it comes something like this you can see here again if you want some different animation you don't like this one you can just give any other animation of your choice again maybe i can just for this also i can use the float down so it is comes like it comes like this again make sure this is also should be very fast 0.3 and whenever you're changing the animation effects it will change to by default on click so i'm going to make it with previous all right so if i play it comes something like this now it's very easy for me i can use this one click on the animation painter click this one then i'm going to select this option click on this all right and then the text all right so let me just do it quickly i'm going to select this click on animation painter select this and for this animation, I'm going to click on the text and for the detailed text here. Then the last one, select this one and then animation painter, the last one. So let's do the animation now. You can see here the first option, the second option, third option and the fourth option.